he's brave, he's fighting, because he done huge preparation for Giro. I've been with him once a day, I know how it's like to prepare for the race. It's very hard, he's very professional and of course he cannot just abandon here and he will try and fight. So there isn't a temptation to take him out of the Giro so he can prepare on, on the tour and concentrate on the tour? Instead of uh, no, first of all, it's not our temptation or it's not our, it's his decision. Because that's his body, it's his health, his health, so I don't know, it's up to him to decide. But he will willing to continue and we will see. I mean, it seems like the crash was yesterday was caused by a spectator leading out into the road. I mean, you, you're someone who's invested a lot of money in your team and your riders. Do you feel that more should be done to protect that investment in terms of... No, I mean, I have no... nothing to say for Jira. I mean, they cannot put the two-meter cages, I mean... What, then we'll be cycling in, in the cages. Cycling is an open race. Of course, spectators need to respect the job of the riders more. But this day with the social media, on the selfies and stuff, everybody wants to make photo at the, at the place and put it on the social network and stuff, unfortunately. And some of them just stupid not to understand that the guys are going 65 kilometers per hour. It's very dangerous for them and for the riders. <laughs> I don't know, we have to just teach spectators and explain them. Uh, I like what Tour de France done one year ago when they had a special promotion on the TV about the safety on the roads. I think that's good. It should be continuing. And, but in general, I don't believe that we should close cycling from the fans and from the spectators. Then it will be different cycling. No. But you know, this kind of shit happens. So. <laughs>